All right, I'm talking about the brilliant cinematic masterpiece known as Cartoon Summer Cartoon School. Cartoon say. I am specifically referring to a scene. She's checking herself into a clinic. I think she's trying to sign up for an obstetrics, obstetrics physician. Okay. The individual appears to have a peluke, appears to have a wig. No, well, I don't know. The cartoon receptionista, diga, lo diga, le diga a ella, says to her, who is the father of this unborn child? Quote, unquote, I'm paraphrasing, but. She says, well, it's either Julian Lennon, but he's currently on tour, or it's this other guy, but he really doesn't want to be involved. Get it? Yada, 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 something to that effect. It's directly stating, I don't know who the father is, but I've got this prepubescent, pubescent urge to be a little bit, a little bit satirically, non-satirically, slightly sarcastically, non-sarcastically, slightly facetiously, non-facetiously, 1980 decade wingy, dingy, zingy about it for some odd reason that crawled up my blank and died and laid an egg. Okay. So this individual or just looks at her and goes, all right, sign here. Understands the subtext as loud as text. Understands the subtext when this is as loud as text when this is that. I think it's option A. She doesn't know who the father, she doesn't know who this, this egg penetrator was. She doesn't know the penetrator of her ovum. <laughs> she doesn't know. Letter B says she might have an idea. She doesn't want to involve that individual. She doesn't know or she doesn't want, or letter B, she doesn't want to involve that individual. She wants to go it alone. Or letter B says doesn't know, isn't, letter B says isn't quite sure or isn't quite certain or more to the point, this individual has asked to not be involved has decisionally said, I'm out of here. If you don't want to get an abortion, that's fine. I'm gone. You're going to have to deal with this fetus on your own, madam. So all of those scenes are deleted. They're pre-deleted posts from this cartoon motion. Cartoon. She's got some boy toy that's like cutesy, wootsy, warming up to getting something happening in the bedroom. But does he want to deal with this unborn and future born child? We don't know. We didn't get to see summer school part de dos. So all we know is uh, there's someone, maybe it was a drunken fiesta. A drunken fiesta, a drunken fiesta. Her ovum was penetrated and now she's saying, I, a, letter A says, I don't know who the father is. Punto, punto, punto. Letter B says, I have an idea who it is, but they've asked to not be identified. How about that? Has an idea who it is, but he, she, they, them has asked specifically to stay away, to stay out of this quote scenario, end quote, cartoonistly. This non SNL, non sketch cartoonistly. It, it has specifically requested permiso para salir, para quitar. So she, so she, so she, so she, so she, so she, she is. Being very cutesy tootsy 1980 decade, schmootsy wootsy flutsy tootsy farty tarty. Okay, she's answering a direct question indirectly. Does the card receptionist say, oh, Excuse me, madam, thou art, not, thou art not permitted to tell a fib? Tell me the truth. Is the father really Julia? <laughs> No, understand. No, understands the subtext that she obviously she's she's making something up to to indirectly answer the question directly that she does not know who this individual is that implanted her egg. She does not know who it is. Okay. The cutesy tootsiness is the nineteen eighty decade way of answering a question in a motion picture scene. What she's really saying is, I have no idea who the father is, and. In the rarest case I do, I'm not going to say. That's letter B. I'm not going to say. In the rarest case I know. But all signs point to she wants the cartoon receptionist to, to cartoonly understand. She doesn't know. She doesn't know. Answer letter A. She doesn't know who the father is. Okay. 
So no, I said, no, the receptionist does not answer like, oh, excuse me, madam, but don't lie to me. I know Julian Lennon is not the father, and I know that other guy you mentioned is not the father, you know. She knows it's an indirect way of answering the question, I have no idea. Answer A says, I have no idea. Answer B says, if I did have an idea, I'm not going to tell you. And I want all of your signs to point to letter A, I don't, I don't know. I have no idea who it is. The receptionist lands on letter A and lets it go and says, okay, sign here. I said, X, very extremely disgusted, but she, she lets it drop. Behaviorally, I think she acts a bit disgusted or extremely disgusted, but she lets it drop. I call it, what, put it on the floor. She does not further interrogate this individual. And then let's go deep. What, what, so what is this individual stating directly that she's going to take responsibility for? I guess. Or she's going to find a boy toy that's really wanting to overextend, pre-overextend himself. And help take care of this, what will at one moment, at the end of the movie, be a, a birthed live fetus. She wants to involve this individual. Well, he wants to get involved. He's naive, he's stupid, he's a teenager. Well, he is a teenager, yeah. He's a teenager. He's, he's young and stupid, right? So she directly states, I don't know who it is. But she states it indirectly. She's stating directly, I do not know who this individual is that penetrated this ovum. Madam, slightly less likely, or extremely less likely as she knows who this individual is, doesn't want to say. In parentheses, probably because he has asked to be withdrawn from this non-SNL, non-sketch of a scenario. Of a situation. He doesn't want to be involved. Okay. Well, who could blame him? I mean, she got pregnant at a drunken party. She's not sure who the father is. Well, I'm just kidding. Well, I said, more than likely, she got drunk at a party and she got, got, she, she got uh, what the, what's, was once written, knocked up. She's been impregnated. She doesn't know who the father is. And I said, in the rarest case, she knows or has a pretty solid suspicion who it is. She's not going to say who it is because she's decided to take the bull by the reins. Well, she decided to take the situation by the horns and deal with it. She is going to single parentedly, if necessary, she's going to take the bull by the horns. She is not going to try to track down the individual that penetrated her of them. In a manner of speaking, she's not going to go after this individual for what's once referred to manutención de menores. I think it's the only way to say it in Espanol, but child support is the other way to say it. I think uh, Ralph Macho talked about that in a movie. Just kidding, I don't know. Um, or the other guy. And then uh, talked about it on a TV show. No. Um, but I was, I was thinking about this scene last night, this movie scene, and I thought it's interesting. Now, she, this, this woman gets it. She gets it. She gets it. It's a miracle, I said. She gets it. She gets it. She says, sign here. In other words, yeah, I get, yeah, I get it. Yeah, you don't know who it is. Well, either she doesn't know or she's, she's fibbing a bit. I think likeliestly she doesn't know. Option B, less likely, she kind of has a good idea who it is. Doesn't want to involve him. I think that's less likely. What do you think? I like to ask the person that has all the answers. Hey, what do you think? What do you think? There's a, there's, a, there's a theater device. It's called Ask the One That, ha that Should Have the Answers. What do you think? I think she doesn't know, but in the rarest case, she has a pretty keen idea who it might be. She doesn't want to say. She doesn't want to go after this egg don donator. I mean, donor. I mean, this egg penetrator himself. The penetrator himself. She doesn't want to go after. Manutenzione de minori is like it's the only way to spray it nor say it in Espanol. She doesn't want to do that. She doesn't want to go after the one that might have 
Because he has now abdic he has abdicated responsibilities. I mean, like, let's, let's say he said, I don't want to be involved. He has abdicated all responsibilities. So if she sends this child to a non-Montessori, non-school of nonsense, he has absolutely nothing to say. He has nothing to say about it. If she feeds this child only kick cereal for 10 years in the morning, he has nothing to say. He has abdicated all of his parental rights. And that's only if it's letter B. That's only if it's someone that has said, I don't want to be involved. Do what you want. Do what you have to do. But if you decide against that word that rhymes with taborto and epayon, I'm not, I don't want to be involved. If you want to birth this fetus into live oxygenated air, that's your prerogative. Nah, 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 nah. Let's see, he busted out his best Bobby Brown moves. That's, that's thy prerogative. Nah, 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 nah. That's thy prerogative. Nah, 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 nah. But I'm saying he, he has abdicated any of his theoretical responsibility. I mean, no, theoretical rights. He's abdicated by saying, I don't want to be involved. And that's only in the less likely op optional case that that's only the less likely instance that she knows or she has a pretty good idea. She doesn't want to she doesn't want to do the insemination background questionnaires and, and, and medical pruebas. We've all heard about where they decide on the who the father is, right? The, in, in the law, in the court of law, they have the uh, she doesn't want to go through all of that. Paternity, paternity tests. Yes. Pruebas de paternidad. We've all heard about it. She doesn't want to go through all of that. He has now abdicated all future responsibilities and all future rights. He has pre-abdicated all things responsibilities and all things rights relatable, relatabilityness, relatabilitynesses, no? And that's in the less likely case that she has a pretty good idea who it might be, but she doesn't want to pursue it. So when she, okay, go back to that. So when she shows up at the aesthetics, Medical building office. She says, she says indirectly, tongue and cheeknessly. The father, it's either Julian Lennon, but he's on tour. He can't, he, he's not available for comment. Or it's this other guy, but he's not currently available for consult, for consultation. I guess I'll have to talk to him, such as talk to by myself. She's saying, I'm going to take responsibility by myself. She has no one else to rely on except this dumb guy that apparently wants to be involved with her pre unborn child. Okay. Is he a dumb guy? Well, he's young. He's very young, so maybe he is dumb. Naivete is very, very, very commonest amongst the very young. Like pre age 25, there's a learning curve, you know, and it's and part of it is the brain doesn't stop developing until age 25. Do we all know this? What's worse is when it stops developing at 25, and we're like, okay, now it's a permanent pre arrestation, pre arrestation of developments. Quote unquote. It's worse, right? When it's like now there's no chance, it's like that horrible, filthy, x rated movie, No Chance at Redemption. Cartoonist. Now that movie should be banned in Eastern Europe. I mean, everywhere. Um, no chance of redemption. I, that movie title alone is, is worth banning. Non roll on banning. You know, like. But I was musing about this scene last night. I thought, you know, it's interesting that this, this cartoon or something. She never says, Excuse me, but don't lie to me. I know Julian that is. No, and no, and she gets the subtext that she's just she's simply stating I don't know who it is. But she doesn't do the uh small town, small town witchiness, non doctress non doctorings. She doesn't go, ah, oh, excuse me, can you drop the attitude, please? It's very important because she because why? Because she knows this individual is in a grief process. Because either she doesn't know who the father is or she suspects who it is, but she doesn't want to go through the paternity testings. 
or she doesn't want to involve this individual that has said that, that has stated directly, I don't want to be involved if you decide to have this live birth. If you opt for the word that rhymes with raborto, I will be most gladdened, but I don't want to be involved in anything. If you decide, to, it's very sad. If you, but if you, but he, but he might have someone, someone, somebody might have said, "I don't want to be involved." Her option is to state it directly. A, I do not know who the father of this baby, unborn child is. Or less, I feel less likely she knows who it is. She, she, she doesn't want to say, but he doesn't want to be involved. And it's really embarrassing. Is the subtext under option A and B? Are the, underneath both of those uh, subtext? I am very embarrassed by this that I'm going to be a single mother. She, say, she is stating, I'm going to be a single mother. And it's embarrassing because I don't even know who the father is. But there's this kind of a boy toy I've been saying. Oh, forget it. I, I, now I feel like I'm saying too much. She could say. He goes to the same summer school I do. Forget it. Uh, just forget it. Yeah, yeah, forget it. Yeah, forget it. Right, right. You know, but, but let's, say, let's, say this, let's say this individual has the... Uh, the momentary panache enough to say, all right, sign here. I get, I get what you're saying. I get, I'm not a total cartoon idiot, cartoon monkey. I get, that, I get that you don't know who this individual is. Or if she's really, really smart, she gets that she doesn't want to say who it is. In the rarest case, she has an idea who it might be. So she says, that's okay, just sign here. And no one has to sign anyone's cartoon existence cartoonly away. I believe, I'm not sure. I think she's signing up for an obstetrics doctor appointment. Serious appointment. Okay. But she's, uh, she's decided to go it alone. I think that's the bottom line. She said she's not going to do paternity testing. She's not going to try to identify the individual, this drunken fiesta that was the original sperm penetrator of this cartoon ovum. Cartoon thing, Okay. She's decided to go it alone. But in, in quote, true, end quote, 1980 decade form, she's going to answer a bit facetiously with a little tiny zip zing of non-miracle, non-whip of, of sass, let's face it. But not really. It's not really a sassy response. It's more like... I don't have the earnings potential of Brooke Shields. I'm going to answer in a way that resembles 1980 decade panache. Or is it panache? Panache. I'm going to answer with panache. This is as close to Brooke Shields' paychecks as I'm likely to ever be, especially now that I have a child. That, let's face it, I'm still trying to get through summer school. I, I probably can't afford to pay for all the expenses myself, myself very easily. Okay. It's going to be an expensive endeavor I'm looking at. And that's part of why this individual might have pre-opted out in the case it's letter B. She knows who it is. He doesn't want to be involved. Okay. Let's get to the factual message quickly. He doesn't want to be involved. I think it's more likely she doesn't know. Option B, at a minimum, maximum, he doesn't want to be involved. She knows. She doesn't want to be she doesn't want to identify him more because he doesn't want to be identified. So she answers with slight, slightest non-sarcasms of 1980 panache. I don't know how else to say it. 1980 panache. 1980 decade panache, says it. I'm not being like this to be a cartoon blank. Say, remember the problem switch. And which I'm not doing this to be a blank. I'm doing this because I'm really embarrassed. Like a movie, right? All the record scratches going on. She's doing it because she's embarrassed, right? That's the subtext. She's embarrassed. You gotta go deeper subtext. She's embarrassed to be at a at an office alone by herself. Home alone by herself. No, at a subject office alone by herself. Alternate motion picture potential. Obstetric office alone by herself. There's not even a Macaulay non-Culkin there to help her. 
She's going it alone. She's going it alone and she's a bit embarrassed. She's a bit embarrassed, I would say. Because she did not plan ahead and wear a diaphragm nor have the, the this other elderly individual did not wear a rubber latex condom on his on the end of his penis. So she's embarrassed. She didn't plan ahead very well. Do you think a 16-year-old or a 7-year-old wants to have a baby? No. She doesn't want to have a baby at that age. No. 16 and pregnant is not supposed to be a romantic, non-situational, non-comedy of a, of a non-soap, non-opera. It's not supposed to look glamorous. These individuals are suffering from their lack of pre-intelligent, pre-foresight. Non-foreskin foresight. Non-John foresight. <laughs> They had no pre non John foresight. This individual is embarrassed. Her only chance at not drowning and embarrassment is to say, well, it's either this guy or this other guy, but neither is a biblical comment because they're both uh, way too busy with their professional careers and music. She's embarrassed. In other words, she knows she hasn't had the deep, intelligent, deep wisdom that God would give to Gandhi. You know, she doesn't have that, or did give to Gandhi, maybe. But she doesn't have that, you know. She doesn't have the... She can only answer the, the question with, with a, bit of, a bit of panache, but she doesn't have the confidence because she's embarrassed. She's embarrassed about her lack of intelligent pre-planning non-skill non-skilledness of non-skilledness. She's embarrassed. It's like the deeper subtext. That's why she answers with a little bit of zip and zing of non-miracle, non-whip. She's not trying to be a bitch. I mean, she's not trying to be a cartoon blank. She's going to a switch. She doesn't know how to answer the question without a little bit of toot. But it's not really tood, is it? It's not really an attitude, is it? It's more like, I'm embarrassed and I don't know how to disguise that entirely, but here's my best. Here's my best ever. I don't know how to disguise that entirely, but here's my best ever. Cartoon is Is to act a little bit removed from the situation that I find myself deeply embroiled within. Cartoonistly. I'm gonna behave a little bit removed from a situation that I feel deeply embroiled within cartoonistly. I'm gonna act and behave a little bit removed from a situation that I find myself deeply embroiled within cartoonishly. Well, isn't that the ultimate strategy, is cartoonist? Act very removed from a situation which one individual finds deeply, finds himself, herself deeply embroiled within. Cartoonistly. Is that a descriptiveness for adolescents in general? I don't know. I think, so. I think it is a little bit. I think it is a little bit. It is a little bit of a description for adolescents in general. That's where that cartoon aloofness cartoonly emanates out of. It's why we can't go to the shopping mall with mommy and daddy past age of 13. We feel a little weird. When we see uh, our friends from junior high school that are hanging out and they're, they're not with mommy nor daddy. What happened? We want to crawl in a hole, feeling so low. You know. We want to crawl in a hole, feeling so low. We want to crawl in a hole, feeling so low. You know, we don't want to, we don't, we don't desire to be embarrassed by stuff when we're age 13, but it happens. It quote happens, unquote, quote naturally, unquote, Cardoso. And no matter how much we tell ourselves that our cartoon padres don't have to know what Gucci is, let alone wear that clothes, style of clothes, we tell ourselves it doesn't matter, no? Because we can't afford that clothing either because our parents are not rolling, rolling in the deep. I mean, rolling in the dough in this case. We can't afford it either, neither, nor. Because neither can they, right? It's amazing. All right, I'm gonna end with this. Do I end with what I began with? Well, just the. What's the moral of the story? This individual's embarrassed. 
she is embarrassed that she doesn't know who the father is. In the rarest case, she has an idea. She doesn't want to say she's that embarrassed. And or he has said, I want to be completely removed from this. Speaking of wanting to be removed from situations, he wants to be completely removed and extracted from it. That's in the less likely case that she knows who it is or has a really strong impression. She didn't want to go through paternity testing at age 16 and a half or whatever. She doesn't want to go through that. So she's, uh, so she's answering the questions or this specific question she answers with a bit of tongue and cheekness. She doesn't, she doesn't want to state directly what is too embarrassing to state indirectly, but she's going to do her best to state it indirectly. So. But what am I stating also, I, I realized this individual was intelligent. The one, the one that says to her, she says, okay, sign here. That's code for, yeah, I get what you're saying. It's embarrassing. Or uh, she gets that she doesn't want to state directly. Because she actually doesn't know. And it's embarrassing. Let's add a thickest layer is that she actually gets a tiny, tiny cartoon glimmer of a cartoon speck of cartoon awarenesses. That it is embarrassing. It is embarrassing to be in a, such, a, such an office by herself. With her unborn child that's going to be completely relying on her. She, she, they, them. There's no one else. There's no one else. There's no one else. There's no one else. I mean, she's got this, this cartoon boy, cartoon toy that she's kind of flirting around with. I mean, maybe he'll be there. Maybe he won't. We didn't get to see summer school part three. All right, have a good night. Summer school part three dose is not yet available. I understand that. Mark Harmon cannot be available for comment. All right, <laughs> have a good night. Buenos Aires.